Hello, this is Mark, Whiskey 5, Mike, Alpha, Echo. And Craig, Alpha Charlie 5, Kilo Whiskey. In this training, we'll be talking about Winlink email over VHF UHF packet radio. If you've not yet installed RMS Express and familiarized yourself with sending Winlink email, please review the RMS Express basic training and then return to this training. Winlink email is a major component in disaster communications. We all need to know how to use it and develop our own capability to support it in an emergency. The agencies that we serve prefer to use email whenever possible. Our job is to get the message through and voice communications does not get the job done. So RMS Express and Telnet was all fun and we can play from the office or from home during drills, but what happens when we need to operate away from home or the internet is unavailable? like during an incident? The answer is your ham radio gear. The easiest way to get into Winlink over radio is to use your VHF UHF rig with a TNC. The TNC is the 1200 baud modem part of the system. This system is called packet mode. It uses the AX.25 digital protocol standard. A few transceivers have built-in TNCs that can handle packet mode but by far the most common solution is to buy a Cantronics KPC 3 Plus for around $200 or a Tiny Track 4 for around $100. Looking at the KPC 3 Plus unit, the designers made some interesting connection choices. That DB9 connector is not a serial connector. It connects audio and push-to-talk signals to your rig. The DB25 is the serial connector. It connects to your computer. If you have a newer computer, you don't have a serial port. And even if you have a serial port, don't bother trying to use it. You need a USB to serial adapter. You can buy these in many places, but you should have a strong preference for adapters using the FTDI chipset. A search on Amazon will find many good choices in the $25 to $35 range. You'll also need a DB25 to DB9 adapter. Wow, this takes lots of stuff. The KPC3 Plus accepts a wide voltage range for power. The 13.8 volt supply from your rig works really great. The power connector is a standard 2.1 millimeter coaxial power plug. You can get them from PowerX.com or the candy store. The cable to your radio is the tricky part. It's the only place that Winlink requires a schematic and a soldering iron. If you're lucky, MFJ may sell a commercial cable for your radio. If not, make two cables just to be safe. Looking at the Tiny Track 4, you'll need a DB9 gender changer for the computer interface and a USB to serial adapter. Bionic sells radio adapters for all common rigs. When you get the cables in place and the USB to serial adapter driver installed, set the serial parameters for the USB adapter. Click Start. Then right-click Computer, click Properties, click Device Manager, click Ports, which will be the COM and the LPT. Then identify the device. It will be listed as USB Serial Port or something like that right-click and select Properties, Port Settings. For the KPC3 Plus, set it to 9600 baud, 8 bits, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control, and OK out of that screen. Now click on your RMS Express window. Select Packet Winlink 2K for this session, and then we'll open the session. Click on Setup and fill in the properties for your TNC. For the KPC3 Plus, good starting values are packet TNC type, Cantronics, packet TNC model, KPC3 Plus, serial port, remember this from the device manager, for my setup, it's COM4, and then set the 1200 baud transmit level at 30. 
the session will restart and you should see three asterisks initialization complete in the window. If you see blah 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 connection failed, verify your COM port and the COM port settings and try again. If it still failed, you can close the packet session window and select Help Simple Terminal. Click Setup and choose the correct serial port. Verify the serial parameters and click Update and then click Connect. Now hold down the asterisk key for a moment in the entry field and click Send or Return and hopefully the Cantronics will respond with A, Command, and then it will start talking to you. If so, you can close the simple terminal window and open the packet WinLink 2K session window. If it's still failing, verify your cabling and troubleshoot the TNC. So tune your rig to 145.73 MHz simplex and enter W5TQ-10 in the first field before VIA. W5TQ-10 is the station that you want to connect to. W5TQ-10 is called an RMS station. It's at the Austin SeaTech Hamshack. Depending on your location, you may need to use a digipeter. A digipeter acts as a repeater for your digital packet transmissions. The AUS RLY-1 digipeter is located at 3M in northwest Austin and has an excellent reach over the city. The N5HPC-5 and W5TQ-4 digipeters are good for central Austin. Add a digipeter in the field following VIA if necessary. Now press start. Your radio should transmit. If it times out with three asterisks disconnected, check your settings, your frequency selection, your power level, your station, or try a digipeter. If it says welcome to, you got it. When you get this far, congratulations, you no longer require the internet. It's recommended that you take your VHF rig and your TNC along with all of the cables, power supply, and a mobile antenna to the next Digital Wednesday meeting that's held on the fourth Wednesday of each month at Red Cross headquarters on Pershing Drive. There you will ask Rick, NG5V, to tune you up. You might want to check with Rick first to make sure that he's available. Your RMS Express is called a WinLink client. The Austin SeaTac W5TQ-10 station is an RMS server. The term WinLink server is synonymous with RMS server. The server uses one or more propagations, one or more programs, including RMS packet to receive your email and forward it to the internet to a backbone of CMS servers. When you connect to the server from your client, the RMS server queries a CMS server for any email addressed to your station and forwards it to you. It accepts any email that you have posted to your outbox and forwards it to the internet CMS server. There are other WinLink servers in your area that may also be accessed from your client on different frequencies. So click on Channel Selection in the Packet Session, and then on Update Table to download a current list of nearby WinLink servers. You can also go to tcares.org and click on RMS Packet Station Locator to find other local WinLink servers. You can go to ARRLSTX.org, click on Aries, then on RMS Packet, to find local WinLink servers as well. It was a pleasure. 73 from Craig, AC5KW. And Mark, W5MA out.